Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is generating a lot of controversy right now in Nigeria, especially from the camp of opposition parties. They are alleging a lot of things, they are raising a lot of questions about this particular project. We watched a series of interviews from the Ministers of Works, Dave Umahi, as he appeared on Chinese TV, he appeared on TVC, and he also appeared on Arise TV. And his job during this interview was to educate Nigerians about this particular project, the importance of the project, and everything. You know, a few days ago, the leading opposition party, PDP, headed by the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, raised a lot of questions about this particular project. And in fact, they are you no know, alleging that the landmark property will be affected and a lot of jobs will be lost in the process of executing this particular project and uh, this is the work of our ministers of work and it was moving around so to correct these narratives talking to people and granting interview to correct these particular narratives and today i have a comprehensive interview uh, and I'm going to show you the one of Arise TV and I believe this one is very comprehensive and it covers a lot of uh, things you need to know about this uh, Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway uh, project by the federal government and people want to know the cause and they want to question the source of funds for this particular project and we have series of questions and thank God engineering Dave Umahi, the professional in the field of engineering shadow with the responsibility not to take charge in ministers of works and has explained everything. All right guys, don't let me bore you and waste your time. Let me show you this particular interview know from the ministers of works engineering dave umayi on arise tv his excellency you know uh, uh, um, former vice president he said that um, the jonathan administration you know uh, wanted to do that project and he put a cost i think about 12 point something uh, you know billion us dollars so whose interest was that administration promoting and wanting to do the project? No, uh, uh, Mr. Ononuga, Bayo Ononuga, already said it's a new project that uh, I'm, uh, I'm President I'm Jonathan I'm did not you. start it, you, that you, President uh, no, Gwari did not no, touch you, it. You, you asked me a question based on what I'm addressing, what the man said. Because if you say that, if you take the fact that it's a new project, you know, then it means that the question will not arise. So I have to answer based on his assertion, you know. And he ran figures. And I don't want to disagree with the, the, uh, the spokesperson because I have a design from NDDC on that project. There is a design and I have the cross section here. You know, there's a cross section of uh, the design of NDDC. NDDC, um, you know, uh, um, uh, designs, you know, quite bulky. They can fit this room. So when I was reviewing the design, you know, uh, the one we are implementing, I had to call for that design. So I can say that there is a design. And then uh, you now come up again and say that Buhari administration renegotiated the project to 11 point, uh, you know, I think 1 billion US dollars, you know. Uh, whose interest, you know, was the administration promoting? And uh, I think that they wanted to do this project, you know, he may be right by saying that there's a difference between Federal Ministry of Works and then NDDC. But it's all the federal government, uh, you know, uh, projects. So there is actually a design from NDDC, but I cannot confirm the costing, but I want to take his costing, you know, to run figures. I'm here to run figures about So that is about that issue of personal interest. I know very well that the coastal route, you know, was um, 
you know, initiated. The idea came from the ingenuity of Mr. President when he was governor. And so he procured uh, the, um, you know, the right of way within the Lagos uh, corridor, okay? And then gazetted it. We will come to that. Uh, but the reason for the, uh, the project taking off now it's all about how we can, you know, inject some activities. You know, if you want to, you know, um, come out of inflection, you have to look at infrastructure, investment in infrastructure. And that's exactly what that project is addressing. It's addressing a lot of elements on return on investment. So there's no personal interest, you know, associated with that. So I agree with him that this uh, past administration tried to do the projects, but they could not do the projects because I have the design here. The design of that project is here. Then number two, it's quite pity to say why is it starting from Lagos. You didn't call it Calabar Lagos Coastal Road. You called it Lagos Calabar Coastal Road, which means that there is a zero point. We have Chene Zero. And the Chene Zero happens to be at a Hamad Bello Way. And it coincides with the Eco-Atlantic. You know, so that's the coincidence. So I'm starting the project, I've started the project at Chene Zero, which is Ahmad Bello Way, and it's progressing. As of today, oh, I can tell you that about 80% of uh, the first 1.3 kilometer is completed. So that is the answer to the two questions that- uh, You know, asked. but uh, I mean, uh, one of the issues raised by Waziri uh, Adamawa, is that there was no competitive bidding. That's so another, talking about be, be, personal interest, question. yeah, he, he, he will, was saying that, that. Uh, uh, President Tinubu you know, just handed over the project to his uh, business uh, partners. That's the big issue. And then in terms of uh, the thing beginning from Lagos and all that, Landmark, the owners of Landmark have been saying, take they me, just want to... Take, take me small, small. Uh, no, 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 no. No, there are many issues. You are, no, you are going to be here for one hour. No, we are, we are, my brain is not as hot as you We are, are going so. to be with you for one hour. You know, they say their building is just going to be demolished, you know, and uh, they let's are address, also asking questions. Let, let's address the Landmark issue differently. You know, because there was this other issue you, you, you raised. About competitive bidding. Very competitive bidding. Very, very instructive, you know. Um, in the Procurement Act, which is uh, an act of the, you know, um, Parliament, you know, the Act of uh, National Assembly, you have uh, a section of that law that allows you to procure a particular project based on the skills, you know, um, you know a company has. And I give you an example. In the top mainland bridge that we are doing, all you are seeing is the, uh, the, 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 what we are doing on the deck. That we have a lot of work going on under the deck, under water works. And uh, we invited Julio Beja because they have specialty in that aspect of work. So we invited them based on procurement act. And so the, 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 the way you are doing such invitation, they must be proof of track record of a company that has done such works. And so they gave us a quotation. We ran the, uh, the, 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 the sea with them. We uh, showed them what you observed. They showed us what you observed. And don't forget that in 2013, ISCON, uh, you know, company from Italy was invited to, you know, do uh, some uh, assessment of uh, the deterioration of some of the underwater works. And in 2019, they also reviewed it. And so based on those two, we invited Julio Beja. And we said, look, you have the competence to do this. And so they quoted, we negotiated. They are doing that work now. Nobody's complaining. Now, when it comes to this coastal route, we are looking at two things. One, the design of NDDC was based on a flexible pavement. You don't do flexible pavement when you have high water table. The coastal route is just the ocean there. And so you have, you know, high water table, which is not friendly with asphalt. So what we are doing is reinforced concrete. People say we are doing decking on the road. And that's what you're doing, using wide 20 millimeter rods, you know, and then, uh, 250 millimeter, you know, thickness of concrete and grade 40. And so 